Hello everybody. In this lesson, I will discuss the area rule in trigonometry. What you see there on the right hand side, the yellow triangle, that one is a right angle triangle. And the area for a right angle triangle is half times base times perpendicular height. Now I'm going to show you what the area rule is all about. Now remember, you must also know the proof of the area rule and that you find in video 10. Here, I'm only going to discuss the area rule and some examples. Now, first of all, we need to go to triangle ABC. Remember, the area rule works in a non-right angle triangle. And then we have to label our sketch. So, this one is little a. So, little a is, in fact, side CB, the side that's opposite angle A. This is little b. And that one is side little c. Now the area rule there, it works always with the included angle. So if we go to angle c, then the area rule will be area triangle ABC is half times A times B, the sine of c. And can you see that A and B forms the two sides so that C is the included angle. When we go to triangle KLM, the first thing we have to do is we have to say that side LM is little k, that is little l, and that side is little m. So the area rule there in terms of angle L will be the area of triangle KLM is half MK, the sine of L. And can you see again, MK forms the two sides uh, in such a way uh, that L is the included angle. Calculate the area of triangle DEF, correct to one decimal place if angle D is 51 degrees. DE is 10,3, FE is 6,4, and DF is 8,2. Now we're going to use the area rule, but first of all we have to write the area rule for the specific situation that we've got here. And as you can see, there's three sides and one angle. So now which sides to use will be the two sides that makes that angle an included angle. Therefore, the area of triangle DEF is equal to half FD times DE sin D. And then we substitute half times FD is 8,2, DE is 10,3, the sin of 51 degrees, and then you slot that into your calculator with no shift buttons used here. It's just straightforward. Punch all the numbers into your calculator. And then the answer, the area of triangle DEF is 32,8. And then can you see there were no units given? And then you just simply say units squared. Let's do another example. Calculate the length of KL, so we will be working out the length of a side. If MKL, the angle is 38 degrees, KM is 12 meters, and the area of triangle KLM is 63 meters squared. So what can you see? Now the area was given and I'm asking for the length of a side. Now, first of all, we have to write the triangle. We have to write the rule in terms of the triangle and what is given. And can you remember I said in the previous slide, we always write it in terms of that angle so that we have the two sides or the two legs that form the angle. So we will write it as the area of triangle KML is equal to half times KM times KL, the sin of angle MKL. 
and then we can substitute. So now the area was given, so in areas place, we substitute the 63 equals half, km's length is 12, KL is what we're looking for, times the sin of 38. Then we can get rid of the half, so I multiply by 2, what I do on the one side, I do on the other side. Then I can get rid of the 12. So I divide by 12 this side so that I can cancel. What I do on the right, I do on the left. I also divide by 12 there. And then I'm looking for KL. So what's still in the way is the sin 38. Therefore, the divide away the sin 38 on the right, divide with sin 38 on the left. Now it looks like this. 63 times 2 over 12 times sin 38 degrees is equal to KL. And that one you slot into your calculator in one go and your final answer. KL's length is 17,1 meters. In the next lesson, I will discuss a practice example on the area rule. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.